<laughs> hey, did you guys see the news? What, the Rourke thing? Apparently, you two caused three million dollars worth of damage. The guy literally lives in a glass house. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love this. Bam! What is that? Where Dawes is keeping his dirty money? Your little tracker scheme worked? Now, right here, this is where Kai's phone wound up. Dawes' corporate HQ. I mean, the place is a beast. We're talking private elevators, blast-resistant windows. Wait, I know that building. That's right on Foster Key off mainland Miami. And this is a work order for a vault that was installed in the penthouse suite six months ago. Okay, tell me about it. Foot-thick steel door with a combination lock and magnetic seal. So we blow it open? Ah, the amount of explosives needed would level the building. So we don't blow it open. But do we? Now, I used to hang with some folks that have an auto-dialer. It's like a safe-cracking robot. They called it the Brute. I mean, the thing is fast, man. It could power open any combination safe. Call him. Tell him we need to borrow it. I already did. We just need to pick it up. Long way to come for a safe cracker. You really used to live out here? Oh, yeah. I was a little screwy after the army, you know, made a local friend, so I hung around for a while. Don't ask, don't tell, huh? Oh, that's funny. What'd you do in the army? Intelligence analyst. Putting no skills to work, I see. <laughs> Look, you try getting a straight job with a dishonorable discharge on your record during a recession. It's a long story, man. I went AWOL. For how long? Technically, I'm still AWOL. <laughs> so what about you, man? What's your story? Oh, Marcus! Dude! Oh! You got a little fat. What? You got a little looking good. <laughs> I'm gross. If I wasn't covered in dust, I'd need, like, SPF 5800 out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is, uh, uh, the friend I was telling you about. Hi, I'm Nick. Hello there, Mr. Nick. <laughs> oh, you look great. You really do. Thank you. So do you have the safe cracker thing or not? No, no, we have to go to the compound to pick it up. Oh, the compound. I, I thought you, you were gonna, um... Is your dad gonna be there? Oh my god, he's not mad at you anymore. Really? I mean, he's not gonna pop the champagne when he sees you, but... <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go pick it up then. Hey, do you guys mind driving? Sure, why not? Awesome! Go to the right here, Nick. So what have you been doing these days? Same old. Local or offshore? Mostly offshore. Where am I going? Follow the road, I'll tell you when to turn. So are you like enjoying the work? I'm enjoying the money. So what do you do, Nick? I work with Boomer. Oh, a boy's up to no good. So exciting. <laughs> so how's your dad? Is he still carrying that fucking gun? Marcus. The world is not your own personal diorama. He's over it. All right, I gotta know what happened with you two. Well, we could... Marcus and I were very much in love. Mm -hmm. My father didn't approve. Oh, I can give you one guess why. So when Marcus left the community, he tried to... Leave with you. Kidnap me, my dad said. Mm. Which was so fucking romantic. But which kind of upset my dad, I guess. Show him your bracelet. Oh. GPS. So he always knows where I am. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Uh. So your dad sounds intense. He was in SEAL Team 6. Oh, he was not in SEAL and Team 6. And due to problems with the socialist tyranny of the American government, he founded a community of like-minded patriots. Hmm. Patriots. Are guys here armed? Totally armed. Oh, Nick, it's cool. I know these people. They're mostly hippies. Actually, all the hippies you knew are gone. What? Where'd they go? Just gone. Dirt road straight ahead, that's ours. Here we are! Well, 
well. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. <laughs> hey, Mr. Albert. Thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. And you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, certainly can, Nick. You just got to give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. My dad kind of monitors my calls. Yeah, a lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza, including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Sorry, Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. gave it to me when she hugged me. Dune, who just set us up? Dune, who set you up? She's, uh, she's actually really good people. Oh, sure. All right, stay behind me. Okay, okay, go ahead. We gotta find a way out of here. Ain't no argument here. What the hell is this place anyway? Missile silo. Decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude, you some party down here. Uh, please tell me Albert doesn't have a nuke. I don't have a nuke. Let's find that escape hatch.
hands up. Stay right where you are. Like that Marcus kid anyway. Little fucking know it all. Can't believe you guys used to let scumbags like that live around here. Shit, we had them, Mexicans, hippies, some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. The Mexican, he was a cop. Oh man, way too many cops around here lately. Yeah, well, he's not a cop anymore. Tony says he busted out of prison a couple days ago. So who's the guy paying the cop's bounty? Tony doesn't know. Found his number on the, uh, the ATF agent's phone. A quarter <laughs> bucks for a mix. Shit, man, I didn't know they got so expensive. Someone should go check on those assholes. See if they're thirsty. Then, I give them anything to drink. I swear I had this thing working. Hold it right there! Hey, one of these idiots had my scanner. Hey, there's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. We need to get our gear back. What? Are you nuts? Let's just get out of here! Look, if Stoddard gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. All right, so how you want to take this, man? There's a lot of Alpert's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Okay, uh, but, but, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. What? If you're up for that. Man, you lead. I'll be right behind you. That's what I thought. Let's just go. Come on. You won't get this black man killed. I feel it. Nick, get to that trailer. Doing. Shit, don't you have any other friends? Not out here?
Freeze. Stay right where you are. Yeah. Shit. Whoa. <laughs> Don't move. Who's this guy? All right, brother, you just take it nice and easy there. It's okay. My mama. Can move. Time to get out of here. Hotshot's been showing up around the country for the last couple of years. Turns out Albert's been cooking the liquid cocaine at his compound, 
and using the revenue to finance a sizable military arsenal. A revolution funded by drug money. <laughs> Those don't typically work out very well. talk about what's going on here? It's like these guys are geared up for their own private apocalypse. Yeah, Tony's kind of flipped his lid. You think? What do you guys even need a safe cracking robot for anyway? Uh, to steal something? Well, at least it's being used for a noble cause. Head for the airstrip. That's where your brood is. Okay, and you're sure it's there? Yes, I'm sure. That's where Tony keeps all his crap. Drive. Okay, look, there's one thing I want to know. Oh, just one? Hey, well, there's man. a lot of things I'd like to Could know. Could you just hang on? Dooney, why'd you let your dad lure us into a trap? I assumed Nick was just one of your dirtbag friends, but then I found out he's a cop, which is kind of worse, but whatever. Whatever? Whatever? You know you're coming with us now, right? Oh, really? Jesus! Oh, fuck! Boomer! What if instead I turn you both over to this stoddard person and collect my 250 grand? What the hell, woman? <laughs> I'm totally messing with you guys. I forgot you were crazy. This gun's not even loaded. Is everyone okay? Dude's been hit! That shot in the arm. <sighs> yep, my leg's broken. Oh, we gotta get you some help. Marcus, those guys that ambushed us, they're coming. You remember this thing? Right. Nick, hold him off while I do some triage. There's guns in the trunk. You got it. Now, for the record, this place has changed. A lot. This is our plan B. Oh, oh, oh. 
That's all of them. Hey, you okay? I need you to do me a favor. Tony's a hunter, so I could use a diversion. I decided I kind of hate the desert. So you're not coming with us? We can get you to a hospital. Nah, you seem kind of busy. Airfield's that way, you better hurry. Hey, Tony. Oh, yeah. Good luck. See you around? And tell Tony I think he's away. <laughs> hey, you wanna check out that burnt out house before we go? That fire looks kinda recent. Dad's gonna come after us with everything he's got, you know. Now if we leave first, it's an airfield, right? Maybe we'll find a plane. So, uh, what did Dune mean when she said Tony keeps all his crap at this airstrip? Tony's always kind of collected shit. The less legal, the better. Really? So what are we talking about here? Military black market shit. Tanks, choppers. He's even got a couple of grounded planes. Tony's got a lot of money, man. Drug stuff. Plus, he's real literal about his Second Amendment rights. Yo, that's it! The old airfield! Keep going! Airfield's just ahead! You know, I find it hard to believe you were a cop. Yeah, well, my dad was a cop, too. For real? But not the kind you're thinking of. You know the SDE? Cuban secret police? Oh, okay, wait, what? So what? You you followed in his footsteps? Hey, you tell me, man. His job was torturing prisoners. And he liked to bring his work home, you know what I mean? That's why he became a cop. A real cop. Sorry, man. Sorry that didn't work out. It turns out you don't have to be a cop to stop people like him. Time to walk. Come on. <laughs> ETF agent Barnes was working for Dawes and Stoddard. He had a dossier on Boomer and came out to Albert's camp looking for him. Probably the idea was that Boomer might lead to me. Bit of a long shot, but hell, worth sending a guy. Seems like Albert got worried that Barnes would figure out his nut job plan to start a civil war. So he has the guy killed and tortured for no good reason. It's not like he knew anything. Least I can do is make a call to the FBI tip line. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to fly a broken plane you fixed. What? No offense. Man, what are you trying to say, man? Are you doubting Boomer? Man, 
man, get out of here. I can fix this. I'll go find the brute. Radio's on, all right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Radio's on. Oh, shit. Boomer, Tony's guys are already here. Uh, uh, do you see, like, a, uh, 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 a warehouse across the way? Yeah. Yeah, it's barricaded. You can't stick in? Oh, hang on. Hey, I think I got an idea. Might be a little loud. I got the brute. Straight to Miami. Yeah, told you I could fix it. Ah, ah, ah. 